must practice. <laughs> oh ho ho. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video, finally! <laughs> and we're here today doing something really fun. I'm super excited for this. We're gonna be rating different movie scenes which have music and musicians in them. We're gonna be doing a rating system based solely on one thing, which is how realistic are the scenes. This means how realistic are the musicians playing their instruments and also how realistic is the interaction between the people about music. Oh, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm violinist Ray Chen, and I've been playing violin since I was four years old. I've traveled the world, uh, toured and played in all the major concert halls. Um, it's actually kind of weird for me to introduce myself, <laughs> but um, yeah, how would I introduce myself? I have my list here, so let's get started. Three, Mark. Action. All right, so first up, we have a movie called High Strung. It was made in 2016. And I've never watched this movie before, but uh, let's let's take a look. May I? What are you gonna do? Pass around a hat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What is this? Let's just pause there for a second. That is. That's crazy. In all my life, I've never, I mean, I've been in so many competitions, right? I've done the Queen Elizabeth menu and competing with another person. It doesn't work like that in real life, but, but this is okay. Well, let's just continue. And, um, also the playing is a little, little, little sus. So let's keep going. <laughs> Wait, okay. That was a high note, right? That was like right here. But instead, if you look back, his 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 finger was like there. <laughs> I feel like right here he's playing on the D string, which is you know like a safe spot to be, but he's playing. If I were to imitate, it would be like. <laughs> like just somewhere there. Anyway. I have to give it to them though. The the bowing, it's not like completely off. <laughs> oh my gosh. That okay. I have zero context to this film, but the way when he when he hits that bow, I mean, these bows can cost a few thousand dollars. The most expensive one to date was around six hundred thousand U.S. dollars. So for them to just go ahead and just, I mean, I would have just thrown hands at that point. Like this is this would be this would be game over. Like even if it started as a friendly musicians duel, it would it would be it would be so done by then. That is death stare. Okay, I have to say the other person did a better job than this guy right now because he's just kind of, I think he's more focused on the acting and it's a lot, right? Like, I, I get it. Because I do think that gray suit guy have some violin skills. If not, then he, it's incredible. Very, very close. Like contrasting between the two, the guy in the black suit is definitely not as convincing. Yeah, say like there, right there, he's like, he's right on the same, on the right string, uh, the gray suit guy. He's got the technique down. He, he must, he must have played violin before. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I love it. I used to get called like, if I did that as a technique, chicken wing, you know, what he's got going on there. To do that, it's really bad for, for tension. When you're doing spiccato, you're supposed to have this supple. It's kind of like a spring in a car, like acts as suspension. Like when you're bouncing a ball, that you have this, this motion going. Doing this, it, it just ergonomically doesn't make sense and can lead to injury. <laughs> His bow's all over the place. Okay, 
I mean, to be honest, I can't, I can't tell who's playing what, and oftentimes that happens. They're using the camera angles to their advantage to pull back when it's getting really heated. Yeah, right, like right there. Yeah. There's like an arpeggio going down. Then, and then nobody's changing their left hand right there. Well, that was good, that was great. Rating wise, since it's the first video, I would give it like a, a seven. 0.5 out of 10. The gray shirt guy though, he gets an 8.5. Black tuxedo guy, he probably getting a six. In terms of realism, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So our next video is an excerpt from this movie called The Violin Teacher, made in 2012. Haven't watched this one either, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh wow, she's practicing the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. Harper, that was wonderful. I stunk. Wasn't she wonderful? No. This will not be good enough for your audition. You must practice. <laughs> you must practice. Oh my gosh, that is so, is the typical like Eastern European teacher, wow. <laughs> practice. Wasn't she the villain in the last James Bond movie? Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, that's so. Definitely a good time I realized was a racist or not. <laughs> Don't make a comment. I have three more days. I have to practice. I have to I have to practice every second. That's the right attitude. I have to practice every second. <laughs> but she's also stressing. I've I've totally been in that situation. I mean it doesn't get more realistic than that. The self-deprecation that is happening there, and you know, you've got this like deadline coming up that is usually consists of a performance, right? In front of a bunch of people. If you fail, you're embarrassing yourself in front of, it could be your whole school, you know, and in front of a lot of people. So, so that's, that's this, uh, this situation right here. And, and yeah, this is, this is, this is very real. I feel like I rate the student 10. The teacher, I mean, it was a bit overdone, but like a nine as well. So overall, like a nine, 9.5. Ooh, this one is The Song of Names, made in 2019. I will let you in on a secret after we watch. Okay, so it's the same. It's like a duel, but on the previous video, I felt like the sound of the two violins were very, very similar. Yeah, so far it seems very real. Wow, okay. Wow, how realistic is this? This is, I need to watch, I need to watch some parts of it again. I feel like they both know how to play their instruments because this is, this is a very difficult passage. This is Pagnini Caprice number 24, right? So this is like a pretty well known passage. <laughs> Okay, that, and the only reason why I feel like that, it seems off to me, is because I know that that was a down bow that the violinist did. And only a down bow would make such a... It, you, it's really hard to make that kind of a, an oomph sound on an up bow. And the only reason I know that is because I, I scored this. <laughs> I was the recording artist for this for this film. Otherwise, I wouldn't even notice it probably. Um, well, uh, not to be biased, but I feel like this one's pretty real as well. I would probably rate it a 9.5 as well out of 10. Next, looks like it's a French film, and it's called Le Concert, uh, made in 2009. This scene is apparently called Le Tzigan. Maybe it's like Ravel. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my gosh, this guy. Oh, okay. He turned it on with Paganini. Okay, so I feel like it's, his attitude is pretty realistic. Like, and that sudden shift when he was like, kind of being like a, 
<laughs> kind of annoying. Again, I don't have much context, but um, if someone was up in my face circling me and playing like that, I'd be pretty mad. Um, and then he suddenly turns it on. That was pretty unexpected and pretty cool. Ooh, that, that part where they like, That was, that was like, they even shifted the, 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 the sh fingering for that. That was pretty good. It's obvious that this man is a proficient violinist. He knows how to play the instrument. It's just that when it comes to syncing and audio, it's like, it's just really, really tough. All right, so we actually have another scene from the same movie. Whoa. Wait, hang on a second. This is this is Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto in I guess na, da, 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 E flat major instead of D major. That's that's trippy. Okay. But maybe, you know, maybe they're trying to be I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to be. The conductor also <laughs> he's just waving his arms <laughs> with no Oh, wow. So... <laughs> wow, they sound, they sound pretty horrendous. but I'm being so distracted by how awful the matchup is. Two things are throwing me off. One is the key, a whole half step difference from D major. Like, you know what it's supposed to sound like? It's supposed to Also that bow hold, if I held my bow like that, my teacher would have killed me. Bang. Yeah. For sure. Ah. Also, she just looks, she just looks so pissed off. Like, and maybe I would be too, because if, if the orchestra sounded like that, maybe they're trying to sabotage her. Maybe that's what's happening. I'm, you, you guys tell me in the comments below. Like, All right, well, I, I think I've seen enough of this video. I, I, I don't need to go on further. In this section, this is like a, oh gosh, the orchestra, I would rate, they, they were doing pretty well. I feel like the orchestra was like realistic. That was a nine out of 10. And then the conductor mm, seemed like more like a 6.5, but man, for her, that sync up, that was, maybe that was an editor thing, but man, that was like a three. <laughs> it was like the absolute. Worst, <laughs> three out of 10. We're gonna do one final clip. This one is uh, from The Devil's Violin, made in 2013. This one should be good because this is David Garrett. And David Garrett is a very famous violinist. He's famous for doing uh, classical, but also crossover music, like Michael Jackson stuff. So this guy knows his way around a violin. So I'm very curious as to how this film will turn out. I've never watched it, I've never seen it before, but he plays Paganini, this famous Italian violin virtuoso composer. Often people cite him as the original godfather of the violin. The bowing is all matched up, right? On this one, compared to the last one, you can see that it's, the, the bowing is crisp, it's clear, it's like in line with the audio. I am curious about the uh, spotlight though. Where do they, what, what kind of spotlight did they have in the 1800s? <laughs> Please, <laughs> somebody, somebody in the comments let me know. <laughs> okay, well, the screaming, I don't know, cause I wasn't there, but I think it's pretty in line with what people thought of Paganini. I mean, he was a major rock star before rock stars were around. So, you know, he was the original rock star, the OG. 
I don't know what that guy, the concert master, what is he doing? Why is he... He's just kind of like, just like... <clears throat> On second thought, I think it's unrealistic that the whole orchestra isn't in awe and looking at Paganini like that. I have to say, I really like this arrangement because Paganini 24th Caprice has no orchestral part in its original form. But for this movie, they must have like arranged something and it's done really, really well. Wow. Okay, I have to say that was that was really good. Um, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, it's <laughs> it made, got me thinking like, what would it be like if if people actually did that in a concert today? They managed to sort of bridge the two audiences together, right? Like obviously, it's for the audience of Paganini's time that they're representing, but then it's also for us as well right now. And I have to say, as an audience of today, I. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, I've made a promise to myself to upload and uh, create way more videos in the future. So please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And oh, don't forget to download and sign up for Tonic as well. It's completely free. And Did someone say Tonic? I, I love Tonic. Yeah, but I'm supposed to do the pitch. Why are you doing the pitch? I've been practicing it. I, I can do it. I can do it. Please, please let me tell. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You get, you can have your turn. Oh, 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 really? You get less than a minute until I finish this piece. So, so, Tonic, Tonic is a practice app that made for musicians like you and me. Uh, uh, in the app, you can practice and, and, and have people visit your studio live. I like that. You can also see what other musicians are playing. Hank likes to visit and make friends. When you practice, you earn XP, which unlocks new outfits and decorations. It's like a fun game. Many cool events and, and free prizes that you can win. You, you can also see how much you practice. Look at my, this is my studio. This is so cool. Anyway, see you guys next time.